We start the show with a special report on an enterprise that gives a new lease of life to what is normally considered rubbish. The screen undertaking is developed by Dai Technology, a sustainability-oriented company founded by a group of entrepreneurs who are all members of the Tsiji International Humanitarian Aid Association. The company came into being as a solution to a common phenomenon. Due to the scale of some catastrophes, many aid groups are struggling to come up with enough money for post-disaster relief aid, as in the case of Hurricane Katrina. With that in mind, Dai Technology was established to generate profit through environment-friendly ways to support Tsiji. This week, the company launched its first batch of clothing, accessories and blankets which are now available on the market. All the fabric for the product is made from recycled plastic bottles, so how is that possible? In our next story, we explain the entire process. From stamping on recycled bottles to a warm blanket stamped with a logo, the famous Tsuji blanket is made from PET bottles pressed into bales, crushed into chips, crashed into pellets, and spun into yarn that can be knitted into fabric. And it all starts in Tsuji's recycling stations. To make a blanket, it has to be a drinks bottle, and it has to be marked with the number one PET on the base. If it's dirty, and if it held chemicals, shampoo or anything like that, we can't use it. The carefully selected bottles then have their caps removed and the dregs poured out, before they are sorted into different colors and clipped of their neck rings. The bottles are pressed into bales and taken to be processed. First, the bottles are crushed, then they are washed. But the bottles that city volunteers give us are very clean, so we save time in the cleaning process. The next step is to strip the labels by machine. The bottles are crashed into chips. Remaining caps, labels and other impurities are culled in a sink float system. The PET sinks in the wash water while the plastic caps and labels float off. The clean chips are dried and made into pellets to be sent to the next stage. At the yarn factory, the pellets are dried, compressed and melted to extract thread, which is thinner than human hair. The yarn is extruded at a rate of 3,200 meters a minute or 190 kilometers an hour. At the fabric factory, company president Luo Zhongyou explains how the textile machines work. This machine, which turns at the rate of 15 revolutions a minute, can produce 500 kilograms of fabric a day, which can make 400 blankets. Luo explains why the color of Tsuji's blanket has changed from blue to gray. You can see layer white yarn and gray yarn. The gray yarn is made from white and black yarn together. So the blanket is produced is gray. Gray blankets don't have to be dyed, which save water, chemicals, and is also save electricity and energy. The penultimate stage checks the quality of the fabric. Because in the production process, there will be some smudges or missed stitches, which we have to control. Before the blankets goes out, we have to catch those faults. We don't just use the human eye, but by shining a light from underneath, we can see if there are any hidden faults. After this process, the quality is 100%. Finally, at the Neihu factory, the fabric is cut into blankets to be sent to disaster scenes all over the world.